on Facebook and Instagram. Hello. With Julie, we are doing Morpheus 8. Yes. And we can't wait. So those of you who have or have not heard about Morpheus 8, um, Morpheus 8 combines microneedling with radio frequency. So, if you've heard, so microneedling is really popular. Um, it causes controlled trauma to the skin. This is like microneedling on steroids where it adds a heat component to it. So you get a little bit more injury in those deep skin layers. Um, it has the potential to actually remodel some adipose fat, and it can um, help a little bit more skin tightening. So, for Kim here, we are going to do her um, face and submental area. We also offer this procedure on the neck and chest and the body, but um, we will be demoing that later. So, where I'm going to really focus on her is kind of down here. I'm going to try to hit these gels a little bit harder to um, break up that fat a little bit and under here to keep this nice and tight. So we're going to treat everywhere, but those are going to be our uh, targets. So here we go. There we go. Everyone's saying hi and they're so excited. Hi. They haven't heard of this before. Being live makes me so nervous. I'm sorry. <laughs> So Julie, how long would you say it takes to see results from this treatment? So, good question. This, this treatment, we um, always recommend a series of three. You won't even probably see like visual results until eight weeks after your first treatment. So even after you finish your third treatment, you do one a month for three months, it will be like three to six months before you even have your final result. So you'll, you'll start seeing improvements pretty you know, within the time that you're treating, does this but help most with, of the magic happens later. Does this help with acne scars? Yes. This is our main recommendation for acne scarring right now. And in the shortest, most simplest terms, what is the benefit of this procedure? Fine lines, um, fine lines, skin tightening, acne scarring, um, collagen stimulation. It, it stimulates a ton of collagen stimulation, which helps with elasticity. Building up that skin texture. Does this help at all with hyperpigmentation or sunspots? It's not going to help as much with hyperpigmentation or sunspots. I would definitely more recommend IPL or traditional microneedling for that. Um, just because those, the IPL will bring the pigment to the surface. The traditional microneedling, we go over those areas a lot more, so it might break up those melanocytes more. Um, but it may see. help a little bit, but not like full star for. What is the best age for this treatment? I mean, any age. Um, it can be preventative. Mm -hmm. I would say a good age is like when you're starting to see a little fine lines or a little bit of laxity mm -hmm. forming. I know my mom, <laughs> she wants it, and that's because she has sleep, she's starting to get sleep lines yes. on her face. That she's in her 50s. Common. Okay, so here we go. If you want to see, can you see this on camera? Um, oh yeah. So if you want to look really closely, um, you can see the needles that just go in and out. Oh yeah. This is on the deepest setting. Do you show that one? Here. Perfect. Thank this you. This is the Thank deepest you. setting. But it's just like a stamp. So if you've had microneedling before, you know we kind of glide across like we're coloring. Mm -hmm. This is more like we're stamping. How um, is this different from the Fraxel laser, someone asked? So they both kind of do, so this goes way deeper than the Fraxel laser because this is going to go into the epidermis and the dermis, whereas the Fraxel laser will just take off the surface of the skin, which will only hit the epidermis. And then how is this, how does this compare to old therapy? I, so all therapy is going to target more the muscle layer, which can kind of lift better. Um, this is going to target more of the fat and the skin layers. So all therapy actually goes a, to tighten up the muscle layer more. Okay. So okay, does this go. help with melasma at all, or is this something you would avoid okay. with melasma? I would actually advise against this with melasma because it does have the heat component which can 
actually make the melasma rebound worse. Doing okay, Tim? Mm -hmm. Is this safe for sensitive skin or easily inflamed? So the whole purpose of this procedure is to cause inflammation. Um, that inflammation is what promotes healing. So maybe if you do have a little bit more sensitive skin, maybe start with like regular microneedling and see how you do with that. Okay. And then um, can you do around the eyes? Yes, we can get really close to the eyes, and I'll show you that here in a little bit. And does it help shrink large pores? Yeah, yeah, the heat can definitely help with that. And um, puncturing the skin with the microneedling part okay. can help with that. Does it help with forehead lines? Like if you have um, the etched in forehead lines, that won't go away? So Botox is definitely the way to go with that, but if you want to get a jump start on those static lines, mm -hmm. um, this can this can definitely help with that, but so that you're not reinforcing those lines, do the Botox it with it. Okay. And then how long does results last? So that's always a tricky question because aging is like a conveyor belt. So doing things like this will kind of like keep you where you're at on the conveyor belt or take you back a little bit on the conveyor belt, but ultimately you keep moving. And um, there's just a lot of factors with that, like sun exposure, genetics skin type. You know, there's just a lot of factors with that. We do recommend a series of something every year, whether it's Morpheus 8, microneedling, um, a how series of deep VI peels. How does this compare to that? microneedling with PRP? It's, it's similar. Um, th that would be great for someone like with melasma. The, the results are going to be similar. This will just be a little bit more of an edge above it because it has that heat component. And it goes slightly deeper. So, Julie, you guys typically recommend three to six treatments every three to six weeks? Yes. No, every four to six weeks. Four to six weeks. You doing okay, Kim? Mm -hmm. How's it feeling? Uh, it just feels like a little hot. Kind of just warm. Okay. And like, um, you... like a little stamp. <laughs> can you use this if you have filler in your face? Yes, you can. Can patients with rosacea use this? Um, it might trigger it a little bit more. What do you think, Kim? I feel like you probably, I think you can, but you're right. I think that you could have a little bit of yeah. a trigger. You might, you might have a more delayed healing with, um, with rosacea. Like might depend might on the severity. Longer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if it's, if it's not like severe rosacea, I think you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Um, you just might stay a little pink longer. And our calming cream is awesome for that. Can we do the area um, above the lip and below the nose um, for yeah. perioral lines? That is mainly what people get this for. Like these lines up here and around the mouth. That is a big one. Okay. So I'm going to kind of do... Tell me if I need to. You're good. She wants to let it go. And earlier we said um, Morpheus 8 is a great thing to use for skin tightening after you do cool sculpting since we now offer it on the body. Yeah. Um, and I think we do have a demo of body later. Mm -hmm. We do. But this is the same, same machine. This is Morpheus 8 but for the face. We do numb the face for 45 minutes before you get this treatment. So you are nice and comfy before we start. I know those needles look pretty big, <laughs> but there yeah. is definitely differences in the depth that's happening. Um, it's a more isolated treatment whenever she's doing this too. So it's not like microneedling. As you can see, microneedling is more moving around the face, constantly keeping contact. This is like stamping the face. So it's a little bit different. Um, and although they look really big, they are still very small in diameter. And you really don't feel very much because you're super numb before you get this done. What is the downtime? Um, usually you're red that day. I would plan to be red like the next couple days. Um, it depends on how reactive you are. Um, but you can wear makeup after 48 hours. So that's always good to know. But plan on being really red that day. Am I red? Um, you get a little red. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, nice red. Um, and if you're inquiring about the special, um, the direction or the details of it will be on our website, which is www.shopnyakplasticsurgery.com. And then if you're following us on social media, 
which you must be if you're tuning in live, we also posted the specials. So um, it's one treatment to the face or neck or body. And the body, uh, one treatment, one area is about a 10 by 10 sheet of paper. So if you're gonna do your entire stomach, that's probably gonna end up being more than just one sheet. And the main thing with this is you always wanna do a series because doing one, I mean, you'll probably like the results, but you're not going to see that good improvement. It really takes a few treatments to get there. And, um, and we want you to do those treatments consecutively. We don't want you to buy three treatments and space them out over a year. We want you to do them like January, February, March, like right in a row, you know, month by month. Someone asked, does this help if you have a double chin? Yeah, it can. Um, I can know that that layer I showed you with the needles, it, um, we can kind of target that. Kim and has a little bit of jowling here, um, which you can't really see when she's laying down, so I am going to hit that with like a double pulse. So it's very customizable. It goes anywhere from one millimeter to four millimeters for the face, neck, and um, chest. So we can be very custom. <laughs> so some people are comparing this to IPL. Do you want to explain how these are different? This is different from IPL because we are puncturing the skin and we are actually going down into the dermis. IPL is a non-ablative laser, um, which means it doesn't puncture the skin. IPL, the heat brings it up, whereas the pigment up. Um, but there's no punctures on the skin. More PSA, we are putting the heat down in the skin to stimulate collagen and help, and help with fine lines. And then somebody asked what other areas of the body we can do. So belly, knees, arms. Yep. Anywhere you have skin laxity. Um, so a lot of people are interested in the body if they've done like cool sculpting and they're, they love their results, but now they just want to work on like skin tightening on their abdomen or something. That would be, this would be what I would move to next. Kim, how bad is the pain? One to 10. Um, like the cheeks are, you don't really feel hardly anything. You feel a little bit more like um, in areas of where they're, it's close to the bone. So jawline, you can feel a little bit more. So in the worst areas, how would you rate that pain between like one to 10? 10 being the worst. Uh, I don't know. I'm not very good at that. <laughs> <laughs> Mild um, to moderate, maybe in those like areas. Totally tolerable. I mean, yeah. it's not like you're not screaming. So I'm not screaming. Like yeah. Five-ish. I don't know. You're not gripping the chair either, no. so that's a good sign. <laughs> not so, yet. Another thing about downtime, I talk about redness, but you can have some swelling and some bruising associated with this treatment as well. So because those needles, since we're literally puncturing the skin. It's not uncommon to see some bruising. I think on Kim here, you, she's gonna have one right here, maybe one back here. Um, they're they're small bruises, but kind of plan for that. You can wear makeup 48 hours later, but this is not something you want to do if you have like your daughter's wedding this weekend. You when, know, like you want to. When can you work out again and sweat? Um, I I would say like 24 to 48 hours. Your skin channels will be closed. It might be a little uncomfortable to work out at the 24 hour mark because you are still so fresh and healing. So like whenever you work out, you know how your face, like your, your high pulse like brings a lot of blood to your face. You can get warm really fast. You probably get hotter faster. So just to your comfort level, I say like 24 to 48 hours, depending on how you're healing. So just to clarify, this is a treatment we um, do on the face, the neck, the chest, and the body. This is not for the actual ocular area. So we will not go on the lids with this treatment. We will go up to the orbital bone, so pretty close to the under eye. Um, and then as far as on the abdomen to help with slightly loose skin, yeah. Texture, some skin laxity can be helped with this because it's boosting collagen. Okay, so I'm going to go right up under her eyes now. What does it benefit if you do it to your neck? Um, it's one of the only options we have for the neck, um, and it can help stimulate collagen there, help with the fine lines, same things it does on the face, mm -hmm. um, but it's probably our best option for the neck. Because as we know, our necks are a little sensitive and don't heal 
um, as fast as like the rest of our body. So we don't like offer big CO2 lasers on the neck because it just doesn't heal well. So this is a great um, kind of our best, you know, non-surgical option to help with the skin on the neck. It's not going to give you a neck lift, um, but it can definitely. One of our receptionists, she had um, lipotite, which is for her lower face and jawline. And yeah. then she noticed that she felt like that was all tight and the skin looked good, but then her neck was a little bit, she just felt like it looked not as tight and she could see some sleep lines in her neck yeah. and chest and they didn't match now her tight jawline. So she had this done and she said she already can notice a difference. Yeah, and when did we do that? That was just a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. So she's already seen the results, which is early. But like I said, I mean, a lot of people come back for their second treatment and they're like, yeah, I already see results. Mm -hmm. um, so. so for those of you just tuning in, this is the Morpheus 8 treatment for the face. I had a couple questions about that. And um, how many treatments are recommended again? Um, three to six, spaced one month apart between treatments. And again, it's just uh, microneedling and radio frequency combined to stimulate collagen, help with fine lines, um, provide a little bit of skin tightening, address, kind of restructure the skin, um, kind of reforming it. Um, someone said, I have age spots, freckles, and uneven skin that I would like to treat on my legs, arms, chest, and face areas. Would I need this, or would I do both this and IPL? Wanting to get even more good-looking skin. I would start with IPL, since everything you mentioned was pretty much pigmentation. Um, and then if you want to address like skin laxity, then do this maybe afterwards. Do you ice after this? We don't. We actually want that inflammation. Um, it might be a little uncomfortable, like she might feel like she had a sunburn right afterwards, but the whole purpose to this procedure is to cause inflammation so that we get a healing response. So I don't want her to even like take ibuprofen or anything because we want to keep that, heal you know, that inflammation up. Are you injecting anything or just puncturing the skin? I'm just puncturing the skin. I can show you the needles again if you want. Yeah, let's show the needles again. So, this just camera. Something uh, a little over. Perfect. Perfect. Can you see them in this one? And now this, this one. one. Over a little bit. Your, your <laughs> there we go. There they are. <laughs> so, Julie, how do you determine on a patient what will be best uh, microneedling versus Morpheus 8? So, they're, since they are so simil similar, um, you really can't go wrong with either. Either doing four microneedling with PRP or three Morpheus 8s. Um, but, micro but Morpheus 8 will just give you that little extra because it has that heat component. So, um, and it'll help more with like fat. So, if you, just, if you want a little bit more skin tightening or if you want to work on like jolly areas, go Morpheus 8. Would you take any pain medication like Tylenol or aspirin? Should you not take certain medications with this treatment? It's, um, so before the treatment, I would avoid taking aspirin, Aleve, ibuprofen, Excedrin, anything that can kind of thin your blood for about 10 days because that will make you more prone to bruising. Um, if you do take it, it's not a big deal, but um, you just might be more prone to bruising. I wouldn't take it the day of treatment because, like I said, we're just trying to, we're actually trying to stim stimulate um, that inflammation. So and how soon after, oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Afterwards, I mean, I wouldn't take anything that day because we want that, so. Um, after treatment, how soon can you resume your normal skincare routine, wear makeup? Um, you can resume normal, so the next day, you can use cleanser, moisturizer, and sunscreen. Um, the day after that, you can incorporate makeup, so like 48 hours. One week after that, um, you can go back to using retinol, retin-A, glow pads, anything more, you know, harsh to the skin, we have you go off for about a week. Um, if you are prone to acne, can you do this treatment? I would have the acne cleared up before doing this. 
um, because then we won't have to avoid those areas. But yes, like once it's cleared up, it, it's fine to do. Is there any bleeding? A um, little bit. I mean, you can see kind of pinpoint bleeding here. Um, like I just got her on the nose a little bit. <laughs> but and I probably did take excited in a couple of days. <laughs> Not too, not too much, and you won't really see any because I'll, I'll wipe you off and everything before. Someone just said, just joining. Is this treatment good for pores, acne scars, and does it help with skin smoothing? Yes. So I would say it's our gold standard for acne, acne scarring. This, along with like maybe doing a series of this and then filler, would be the route I would go for acne scarring. Um, pore size, definitely, the heat can kind of tighten it up, um, and then, what was the last one? Um, skin texture skin and smoothing. Skin texture, smoothing. Oh, yeah, for sure. And then, um, once again, can you say how many treatments are recommended and what the downtime is? So, downtime, um, I would say anywhere between, like, two and five days, depending on how you heal. You can wear makeup after two days, um... And we recommend a series of three to six treatments based one month apart. And this treatment does stimulate collagen, and it is not recommended to fix sunspots. What we would recommend for that is IPL, right? Yes. Okay. Alrighty, guys. We are getting close to the end of our lives. Um, if we didn't answer any of your questions... We will be posting these videos so you can watch them at your own convenience. Maybe we will watch, or maybe we will answer them at some point in the video. But if you do still have questions, you can text us at 314-991-5438. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. Thanks, Julie.